hello friends welcome back to the channel and thanks for subscribing to the channel and those who have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel we, we are very close to 100 subscribers so please press the subscribe button today we are going to learn about laravel activity log if you want to store the, if you want to log the user activity such as create update delete in your database so this is the package you have to use it's very good package so without wasting any time let's start by installing it for that we will come to installation and setup uh, and i will also put this uh, the link of this package in my description so you guys can find it there so let's start first of all we have to come here and copy this we, go back to our project and in the terminal paste it and hit enter and it will install it, it will get installed so uh, i will pause the video okay guys the installation is finished so after an, the installation is finished we have to publish some files first uh, let's copy this one paste it here enter and there's one more down here let's publish this one also let's uh, paste it here enter then now after that we have to run migration let's run that and that's it and this is it for the installation and and the pack package is ready we can use the package now so let's start by using the package okay guys uh, so let's uh, start by logging as simple text for if i come in my controller and in this method and write activity uh, arrow key log and inside here for example if i write a b c d e f g and uh, go to browser refresh the page and now if i come to my database and inside here i now i have a new table which is activity log if i go and open it as you guys can see it logged my activity so in the browser if i also want to show this i will type here return activity activity and all uh, sorry guys like this and also you guys have to import this uh, line in top of your controller uh, to work so now let's go to browser refresh our page as you guys can see now it will show the log that i just made it this one and when i refresh it created one more so this is our string but if i want to uh, see the last uh, activity that i made i will come here and in front of this i will just write last and let's go back to browser refresh the page as you guys can see it show our last activity here you guys can see the description so after that uh, we, uh, what we want is to use this uh, activity log in our model so it can log all the users activities such as create update delete so to do that i will come to the documentation and in that in the logging model event in here i will uh, copy this line of first of all I will copy this uh, to in from here and go to my model paste it here then this method inside the class and I will use this trait to so it could work and paste it here so the setup for the model is done so uh, right now if i remove this it will only look the name let's uh, create a, 
I record here fast okay guys so let me comment this out uh, right now I create I am creating a new record and adding it to, to my database so the name is like let's say ABC and user ID all the information so now let's go back to browser refresh the page as you guys can see it locked uh, the last uh, record that I added and also if I come to properties now here you guys can see the name has been logged it's, uh, it's showing here but uh, if I want to log all the records for example I want to store all the information that in my activity log table what I have to do I have to come in a students table and in the state of name I have to just type a star so now if I go back to browser refresh and now in the properties uh, attributes if I come you guys can see all the information has been logged in here so this is the way that we can log all the activities all the information now another thing let's uh, suppose that this one is uh, co cost by one and the description event is also created now let's go and update the record so for example in the state of student right now I will just say uh, students find first student and change the uh, name to like this save and let's go back refresh so if I come here in the properties you guys can see it's the new value and if I come down there is a new attribute which is old and in here we can see the old value which was ABC and it is changed to DDD but uh, storing both of them sometimes it will take too much of a space a storage space so I don't want this what I want is to uh, save only that dirty one or that the, the record that has been changed so to do that in student I will come here and at the end I will type log only dirty so by uh, so re it's why so by typing this uh, function it will only log the uh, the record that has been changed the uh, uh, sorry the field that changed for example now if I change the name to let's say one two three four now that if I come back to the browser refresh and as you guys can see it only uh, saved the record uh, the attribute that is changed as you can see the new name is one two three the old one was ddd so this is the way you can only log the the changed value uh, another thing for example if you guys uh, sometimes want to disable this uh, logging functionality for a method or for a uh, bunch of code let, uh, let's see how we can do that for that let me create one more action in here let me for example let's create here an update find one and let's change name back to this and address something to this and this one now if I go to browser refresh now you guys can see two okay it's, it will be easy if I clear my activity log let me delete everything okay now let's go and refresh now as you guys can see it logged both activities one was which which was created and another one was which is updated so let's say for example I want to disable this uh, method the first make first action only log the second action so let's see how we can do that uh, for that in the top I will say 
activity and arrow key disable logging so this will disable the logging it will not log anything which is after this line of code and in here I will say I will enable it back so for that I will just uh, copy this and instead of disable logging I will say enable logging so now uh, let's clear our records again and now let's go back to browser refresh our page okay it's same maybe I wrote it wrong and refresh again so as you guys can see it only uh, logged only one of my method which was updated but not the uh, created part so this is uh, it for this video and thanks for subscribing to the channel and see you guys in the next video